Hey gamers, today we're going to look at Glory. Let's check it out. In this game, you are getting black dice. Huzzah! That's the new dice color in the expansion. Uh, you will place out one of these that will do different things or put certain restrictions on dice. For instance, this one says, hey, it can only be in the left, center, and right fields or bottom, top and bottom rows or it can only uh, be in a space with a value restriction or something like that. And so put one of these out to add some extra rules on top of this game. You want to bring them into the game. They have the little two cards to bring the black dice into the game to do special things as well. They have special abilities or special in-game points you can shuffle into the deck that deal with the black cards here. They also have these like little I don't know, competitive ones here. It says you replace two of the, of the goals with some of these cards with the little chalice on it, and they will give you victory points based on who got it first, second, and third. You know, who had this first, second most, and third most, and stuff like that. And and and, and the rule book basically explains each one of them. They're not they're not very hard to uh, understand. There's also some other things, some secret goals here. You uh, get two of these, and uh, you if you can complete them. And whatever they do, you will get the victory points. And then it has some Insta scores here. These Insta score cards, you'll place out three underneath the main uh, goal cards. And in this case, it would be the first person during the game who would complete any one of these. So for instance, if I had this objective, then I'll go ahead and grab it right away so I can score those five points at the end of the game. After that, that's, there's only two left. And so you score these immediately, whereas the other ones you would score at the end of the game. And basically that's the expansion. Final thoughts, what do I think about the final expansion? I think this is it. They came out with three of these. Um, and then of course the five to six player one, which is the best one to get still. Uh, this one I do like. Um, I hope they're not doing any more because this is where I felt like the expansions were running out of steam. I saw something brand new I'd never seen in the other expansions. I was really digging it. And this one I felt gave us more of the same or it just wasn't unique enough. Now. Again, I'll play with this. It's fine. It's not going to change the game for me. It adds extra dimensions to the game, which is good. But out of the three that came out, I can't remember what they're called now, Love, Passion, and Glory, whatever, this, I think, is the weakest of the three. It's still a good one. It's still a good one. But, you know, at this point, I think we should be done with Sagrada and moving on to other games. You know, no more expansions for Sagrada. I think I'm good. But, by the way, I had to toss the insert to make everything fit, which I knew was going to happen anyway. All right, gamers, that's it for now. Until next time, you know what to do. Game on!